Tony Khan, billionaire, pro wrestling promoter, walking meme. Oh, shit. It's pro wrestling bits. Tony Khan continues to be the most memeable man in sports and entertainment, and personally, I love it. Whether it's his facial expressions, quirky little rants, wild and messy tweets, or endless supply of hugs, Tony Khan is God's gift to the internet. Khan's latest meme is a gem where the AEW president gave a warm, fuzzy, and emotional hug to new signee Claudio Castagnoli, aka Cesaro. This photo is as touching as it is hilarious, and social media ran with it. Anti-AEW people criticized Tony Khan for being soft, while pro-AEW tribalists reminded us all of the hugs Vince McMahon gave, and this turned into a war of who hugs more. Based on some of the history of racism and bigotry from AEW hardcores, Tony Khan's hug gate has led to some of the most harmless debates I've seen from tribal wrestling fans in quite some times. Tony Khan is a hugger. He's hugged so many of his employees, he might have to get them to sign NDAs, but I'm all for it. Khan is a passionate man who loves his company as well as pro wrestling, and of all the problems with wrestling today, Khan's warm embrace is at the bottom of that list, though it is one of the most entertaining, so I've got to write something. Just look at all the unintentional romance in this picture. The perfect end to Pride Month. This could be the cover of a romance novel called The Notebooker. Claudio Castagnoli has this look on his face like, God damn it, I'm about to be one half of a meme that I didn't even ask for. Claudio could hear this going viral before it was even posted. No, this isn't a picture of Khan hugging JD in a mask. It's actually a touching photo of him hugging Negative One during one of the greatest tribute shows ever produced. By the way, JD from NY 2 x 6 threatened legal action after last week's masterpiece, so the video has been made private because I already got my point across and I don't want to have to show up at Little People's Court. It'd be six foot two against two foot six, and they clearly take his side. Here's Tony Khan and Martha Hart in another touching moment. I feel like Tony Khan hugs with his arms and his face. Like he's feeling every one of the feels with this hug. Here's Tony and Okada, who seems to be thinking, is this an American tradition? Ghetto never hugged me like this, and he used to be my manager. As a hugger myself, Tony Khan has my full support to hug anybody who consents, which may or may not be the case with Okada. Okada isn't hugging back as much as he's putting his hands on Tony Khan's arms like, if you don't release his holds in five seconds, I'm turning this into a rainmaker. Tony Khan's got the right idea, but honestly, the people who really need these hugs clearly aren't his talent, but more so the toxic AEW hardcores within his own fan base. There are thousands of die-hard tribal AEW fans who carry themselves on Twitter like they didn't have a father figure and fancy Tony Khan as their leader. I can't think of anything these people need more than a hug from the AEW boss. During the next AEW Fan Fest, they should have a Tony Khan hugging booth where Khan can give AEW hardcore fans the love and affection that evaded them as children, therefore creating some of Twitter's most racist trolls. By hugging these incels, Tony Khan can pull a Cody Rhodes and help end racism, all for the price of, let's say, $99 per hug? Tony Khan has a knack for creating viral photos with the simplest of facial expressions. He has resting Twitter face, and if he's passionately speaking about anything, chances are a handful of funny photos will follow. One of Tony's GOAT performances was this awkward, if not unhinged announcement that he had just bought ROH. His energy was off the charts, so much so that Jim Ross joked about Khan having too much coffee. Meanwhile, Twitter joked about Khan having too much of something else that starts with a C. Their words, not mine. Here's Tony Khan looking like he just found out about another AEW injury. That or he's auditioning to play a caveman in a Geico commercial. This is one of my favorites. The only thing missing is an evil plan and a dead James Bond. This is the face I imagine he makes whenever he tweets. If this photo could talk, it would say, do you know who the f I am? Here's a goat photo of Tony losing his shit over Samoa Joe. Here, Tony is saying, behold, motherfuckers. Tony Khan's never been particularly graceful in the ring. Here's that awkward video of Khan trying to hold the ropes for David Crockett Jr., but the ropes won as they ended up holding him. Here, Tony tries shaking the ropes like Batista, but the ropes just ended up going 2-0. Look at him, he's like the ultimate lawyer. How could we forget about Tony Khan going to war for CM Punk, touting the AEW World Champion as the company's biggest draw? 
At a recent softball exhibition known as the AEW Media Scrum, Tony Khan went off on a profanity-laced tirade in response to Eric Bischoff's claim that CM Punk was a financial flop. By the way, this was during Double or Nothing Weekend, where MJF no-showed a fan fest. MJF did not appear at the AEW Media Scrum either, so that's two fan fests he skipped that weekend. What's your favorite Tony Khan meme and why? Who in pro wrestling could use a hug from Tony Khan? Tell me in the comments.